America, it's time for a gut check. If the Founding Fathers saw us huddled in our little cocoons, texting each other smiley faces, they'd hang their powdered wigs in shame. When our idea of danger is eating gluten, there's trouble afoot. Yes, we the people have gotten soft, and all the likes in the world aren't gonna save us now. But one thing will. Welcome to the place where we speed all day, where we bump and grind in a non-sexual way, where scores are settled and we break the rules, and everybody's got a set of badass tools. Get some NASCAR in your life. Hello, Flory, goodbye, Sly. Welcome to the place that we call home, where meats are grilled and you can bring your own, where everyone's welcome and we all belong, even my friend and his American flag thong. Get some NASCAR in your life. Hug your kids and kiss your wife. You want Billy and Sally to learn about math and science? Send them to the school of NASCAR. They'll thank you for it. Sure, everybody in NASCAR gets a trophy as long as they win the race. Did you know that less than 10 miles from Sonoma Raceway, you can go wine tasting? True story.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Dan's Heating and Cooling Top-Notch Truck Series. I am DJ Lion, and uh, we got Michael D'Amico down in the production trailer, pushing the buttons and making everything happen. Today at Atlanta Motor Speedway, the truck's taken to the track, the 1.5-mile D-shaped over out of the great peach state of Georgia. A few drivers in here today. I want to let you know who we got. Uh, Danny Rudy, he is the owner of Dan's Top Notch uh, Heating and Cooling uh, out of the West Coast, I believe the Washington area. Good big time sponsor we got here for the series. Also have David Beckend, Jeff Martin, Matt Clifton, who if you were with us last night uh, for the pad, uh, the people against distracted driving, 110. Uh, you saw him involved in a few accidents last night, and uh, m mainly not of his causing, but we're going to see if he can rebound here tonight. Uh, same track, same truck, with a little different setup. Also, Donald King, Teddy Wisniewski, George Bart, Garrett Smithley, the hometown driver out of Peachtree City, Georgia, are going to try to win here at his home track. New driver to the series tonight, Logan Clampett. Nick Reynolds had some connection problems last night. He's back. Everything looks good. Ed Williams, Jr., Mason Kane, Damon Gilbert, always fast, and J.D. Laird from uh, JDR uh, Graphics uh, painting a couple of trucks here that we're going to see on the broadcast tonight. Brandon Hastings out of Texas, now out of Kannapolis, North Carolina, uh, making the big move and also working on the J.D. Uh, our team as well and Mitchell Rivas always fast as well out of the Mid-South Division here. So about 15 trucks that are currently in qualifying right now and that is uh, fixing to wrap up here in a few minutes. Fastest car, well fastest truck rather in practice the top three Logan Clampett with a 30.434 and watching him in practice he was running qualifying laps the whole entire time so hopefully he's got a good race setup but fastest in practice with the qualifying time. J.D. Laird right behind him with 30.521 and then Damon Gilbert, Brandon Hastings, Mitchell Rivas, Jeff T. Martin, Matt Clifton, Garrett Smithy, George Bark, and Teddy Wisniewski, uh, your top 10. So qualifying time starting to roll in right now. Uh, last night we had a 10 minute long qualifying session. Tonight only five minutes, so they only got a couple more minutes to make time. So far, uh, looks like J.D. Laird currently on the pole with a 30.514. Logan Clampett has not taken time yet. Uh, Garrett Smithley coming in second place so far with a 30. Seven. And when we got some time, well, these guys are qualifying. If you want to check out dancetopnotch.com and uh, give us a shout, give him a shout. Uh, tell everyone there how you think we're running everything over here and what a great show that we put on. Also, John Hendrick, The Paint Shop, if you'd like them on Facebook and also the iRacing uh, forum page there. He's going to be giving out some extra money here tonight uh, to some lucky people. So, John Hendrick with The Paint Shop, I know he's out there watching. Uh, in Pete Tropolis there. We are live on Twitch TV and want to welcome everybody in there watching us as well. Join the chat. You can uh, log in and create a username and you can chat with us. Uh, we're going to be talking to you guys throughout the night, you guys and girls. I know that uh, Garrett Smithley, his parents uh, out of Georgia are watching as well. So hi to RK and Bethany uh, down there watching their son go around the track. And uh, well, here we go. Logan Clampett worked all day long on that qualifying setup. And he's going to roll in in the second spot with a 30.557. So J.D. Laird picking it up and putting it on the pole here in his first race of the season. Qualifying about 30 seconds left. And it looks like that Donald King, uh, David Backen, and Ed Williams Jr. Uh, also Cruz Cadell is in here as well. They have not taken time as of yet. So we're going to go through the starting lineup uh, when we get a chance here. Uh, they're going to grid here in about 20 more seconds. And actually, I don't know if the Cruz caught out. He just joined the session, so he's not going to be able to uh, make a lap. So he will start shotgun on the field. And it's got some good things going out there. Raising Kane with us in the chat over there always good to see him he's here every every race so uh, i want to let you know that we are here every monday night for the dance top notch truck series uh going live at about a quarter to ten 
Eastern Time, and also every other week, the bi-weekly 50-50 series. Uh, that was rolling off at 4.30, and I do believe we're going to make some changes to that time, so it's going to be later on in the day on Sunday, uh, around Sunday night. So uh, check out all-pro-racing.com and get all the news and information, and also like us on Facebook as well to stay up to date with everything that we are doing. Okay, trucks are now on the starting grid, and we're going to go ahead and give you a rundown uh, before we go 65 laps here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Starting on the front row on the inside of row number one on the pole, the number 70 truck of J.D. Laird with a 30.514. And his outside, the young driver out of California, Logan Clampett, 30.557. Inside of row number two will be the 43 of Garrett Smithley with a 30.606. In his outside, his teammate, the number 81 of Brandon Hastings with a 30.614. Inside of row number three will be the 20 of Matt Clifton with a 30.644. In his outside, Jeff T. Martin with a 30.658. Inside of row number four, Nick Reynolds qualifying in in the seventh spot with a 30.672. And Teddy Wisniewski to his outside with the exact same lap time. But Nick turned his first, so he gets the spot with a 30.672. So 7th and 8th, same exact lap time. Inside of row number 5 will be the number 42 of George Bark with a 30.728. Into his outside, Damon Gilbert in that number 68 truck with a 30.750. Inside of row number 6 will be Mitchell Revis in that number 02 truck with a 30.753. Into his outside, Mason Kane with a 30.873. And right out the field, uh, qualifying time-wise, the number eight of Danny Rudy. Tonight's sponsor, Dan's Top Notch Truck Series with a 31.748. Not taking time will be Cruz Cadell, Donald King, Ed Williams Jr., and David Backen electing to start in the back of the field. 17 trucks here today. Pace car is rolling, and we're about ready to get underway. These trucks working their way through turns one and two onto the back stretch. Looking at that number 70 of J.D. Lair, that JDR Graphics. Dot com sponsored machine and his outside the Diet Mountain Dew, the Dale Jr. look-alike number 44. <laughs> that truck is sweet of Logan Clamp. And then you got Garrett Smithley right behind JD Laird, who also painted the 43, that SegPay sponsored machine. And then you got the 81 of Brandon Hastings to his outside. So these top four very fast have been in the iRacing community for a long, long time. And if you want to experience these top four right here are where you need to look. So here we go, 65 laps, we've got 30% fuel here, so pit stops are going to be a premium. A uh, normal full tank of fuel can go 48 to 50 laps, but these drivers are only going to be able to go around roughly 20 laps on fuel. So pit stops are going to be the name of the game tonight, and we're going to see who can get on and off pit road the best. Here we go, pace truck is off, and green flag is out. J.D. Laird leading the field down at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Lap number one of 65 going in the books. J.D. Laird getting the early lead here. Here comes Garrett Smithley down to the inside. He's going to make quick work of Logan Clampett and tuck in behind J.D. down the back straightaway. Brandon Hastings pushing Clampett down the back stretch as well. Now Clampett, he's going to dive down to the inside of Garrett Smithley. Throws that truck down there, and he's going to take the second spot in turn three. Logan Clampett with the power move down to the inside. He's going to take that spot from Garrett Smithley, who is now back there uh, fighting with Matt Clifton, who's made his way up into the fourth spot. And Brandon Hastings going backwards on the outside. But Jeff T. Martin now down to the inside. Hastings is going to try to get back in behind him, and he does. Uh, so now Brandon Hastings is going to do the crossover move for the draft in full effect here tonight. As the draft propels Brandon Hastings down to the inside, he's going to take that spot again as Martin goes to the outside, trying to make the high groove of the racetrack work, but Hastings just too strong and going to try to slide up in front of him, and he's going to do it now, leaving the door open for that 25 truck. Uh, Teddy Wisniewski, that New England driver, he's going to try to jump down to the inside as well. And Martin now going to try to get in behind Hastings, and he does. 
uh, barely an inch between those two trucks as he makes that pass down the back straightaway. And Logan Clampett now back up to the front. He's gotten around J.D. Laird, so new leader Logan Clampett on lap number three. J.D., though, not falling back too far. He's going to suck up right behind and now possibly look to the outside and turn number one. He's got a fender out there, and is he going to try to do it? Well, he's still stuck out there, but he's going to get a lot of room from Gary Smithley to get back in line. So Logan Clampett showing again he has one of the fastest trucks out here as he propels himself toward the lead. Uh, Garrett Smithley now working hard to get back up there. Here comes Matt Clifton involved in a bunch of wrecks last night. None of them really his fault, uh, but he told me earlier today that he was going to have the game face on and nothing was going to stop him from getting into victory lane tonight. So we're going to see how that works out for him. He's got a tough, tough crowd here uh, to go up against. And everything pretty much single file up there, looking for a battle back here in the pack. Uh, looking at Nick Reynolds battling with Mitchell Rivas now. Rivas, he's going to take that spot and move into the 10th position. So uh, Nick Reynolds falling back quickly, uh, possibly a strategy play on his part, but move Mitchell Rivas up into the top 10, putting him right behind that black and pink number 42 of George Bark. And here we go, Teddy Wisniewski, he's going to make a move down to the inside battle for the sixth spot. And that American flag painted number 25, and uh, it looks like that Jeff T. Martin, who qualified up near the front, was running up with the leaders. He is now falling to the back on that outside. The inside groove is a premium here at Atlanta Motor Speedway for these trucks in the iRacing simulation. Brandon Hastings up there still running in the fifth spot. He's just settling in right behind Garrett Smithley and Matt Clifton. Oh, and Clifton! Getting a little pump from Smithley and uh, getting loose out of turn number two. Uh, barely a tap there, but these trucks are so aero dependent uh, that Clifton got loose, and that's going to allow Smithley in that seg pay number 43. He's going to go down to the inside um, and take that spot. But Clifton fighting back hard on the outside, still side by side. Uh, that top line can work. It's not really an offensive line, but you can use it as a defensive line to hold your position. You can't really go up there to pass, but you can protect it uh, if you can pinch that truck down easy enough. And Clifton got a little loose there, so that's going to allow Hastings to go down to the inside and push Smithley up through that spot into the third spot now. Uh, Hastings coming along with him as well, and Clifton going to fall back into fifth. Uh, still side by side back there, and the leaders have done checked out on the entire field right now. Yeah, it looks like J.D. Laird and Logan Clampett. Logan Clampett last lap 30.752 compared to J.D.'s 30.832. Garrett Smithley's 30.988. So Clampett, definitely the fastest truck here right now, but pit stops are going to be coming up very soon, and these drivers can make changes and uh, try to get their car back up towards the top. And if we have a caution flag, we'll talk to some of the drivers and definitely get some victory lane interviews after uh, this race is over. Now let's uh, turn it over to uh, the Pete Tropolis there. Everyone out there watching us on Twitch TV that's logged into the chat. I see a couple people chatting over there. I uh, want to let you know who you're rooting for, who do you think is going to win the race tonight, uh, who do you think has the best chance to put it in the victory lane here in this top-notch truck series race at Atlanta Motor Speedway? I think uh, Logan Clampett uh, has it locked up right now, uh, but you can't count out Garrett Smithley and definitely can't cut out J.D. Laird or Matt Clifton as well. So should be fun uh, to see how everything goes, but right now Logan Clampett is the class of the field, but as I say that, J.D. Laird now closing in down the back straightaway. He was a tenth of a second fast at that time, and the yellow flag is out. Trying to see exactly what happened there. Oh, it looks like the 42 and Mitchell Rivas involved uh, on the backstretch here. So, uh, caution on lap number 11. And we're going to check out a replay here. We're going to get a replay going for you uh, on George Bark. Uh, possibly looked like a little bit of contact there. Uh, maybe the 19 came up just a little bit or George was kind of pushing down and kind of Getting down there just a little too close. So yellow flag number one here on lap number 11. And Mason Kane has taken his truck behind the wall. He is marked officially out of this race. 
So caution flag number one, we're going to see how everyone does here and what they do on pit road. And after they get off of pit road, we're going to get an interview with a couple of these drivers, uh, possibly talking to uh, Garrett Smithley and J.D. Laird. Uh, we'll see how they do. So pit lane is open. We're going to see if the leaders do come down pit road, and it looks like they will. Going to be watching the 44 Logan Clampett who goosed it right there just a little bit to get in front of J.D. Uh, we're going to see if he possibly has a speeding penalty. I doubt it, but anyway, good move on his part to get down pit road, heading to the Diet Mountain Dew crew. And the whole field is following in behind them, 30% fuel, everything at a premium right now. So he doesn't have that uh, front pit stop. That's J.D. Laird. So we're going to see how that works out for him, uh, see if any two-tire pit stops may come up. But it looks like everyone's definitely taken four. And Logan Clampett down and away. And a uh, little slow on J.D. Laird's part there. He's going to looks like he's going to come out in the fourth spot. Garrett Smithley moving up a position on pit road. That SegPay movie-sponsored machine, uh, that crew, getting him up there. Uh, followed by Brandon Hastings, Damon Gilbert, J.D. Laird actually going to come out in the fifth spot. So, slow pit stop for the number 70 team, but nonetheless, we'll be back racing here shortly. So, let's go ahead and uh, let's grab, uh, we'll grab a couple drivers here. Um, let's talk to Garrett Smithley first. We'll bring, uh, bring him in. Hey, Garrett Smithley, DJ Line up here in the All-Pro Racing Network booth. How you doing, bud? Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, looks like I just picked up another spot, so it looks like we're going to restart second on this restart. So, um, saving tires a little bit. Uh, this track's fun. Uh, only live, we used to live only about 25 minutes away from the track, so uh, having some fun. Yeah, notice, uh, how much does draft uh, play an effect here with these uh, new builds that iRacing is putting out? Is there really a, a big draft, or is it kind of, can you get away from people, or what's it like? Oh, the, the draft is huge here. We were kind of toying around with that with practice, uh, working with uh, Brandon Hastings and Logan Clampett and J.D. Laird trying to figure out, you know, how the draft does affect. If you get up too close to the truck in front of you, you kind of lose a little bit of aero off your nose so the front tires start to slide, so you got to be careful with that. But um, overall, I mean, if you're within, you know, a second of the truck in front of you, the, the draft helps a, a lot, which is why you see so much pack racing here at Lemmer Speedway. Right. Now, we know that your teammates with uh, Brandon Hastings and J.D., is, is Logan on your team as well? And uh, if so, how, how close are your guys' setups that you're working on tonight? No, uh, Logan's just uh, just a friend who uh, decided to come come uh, check out the, uh, the All-Pro Racing Series here. But, uh, no, uh, setups are pretty similar. Um, not much you can do. We're, we're almost wide open. We have to lift a little bit, but um, kind of like in real life. But uh, uh, we're having a good time out here. I, you mentioned J.D. He actually painted the truck I painted, this awesome paint, uh, seg pay paint scheme. So uh, shout out to him. And uh, Brandon Hastings just painted his truck like 10 minutes before the race. Well, it looks good. Definitely anything done by uh, JD Graphics out there looks good. So I want to thank you, Garrett. I know you're getting back ready to uh, go green here. So good luck the rest of the race, and hope to be able to talk to you in victory lane. Appreciate it. All right, Garrett Smithley there. We talked to him. He mentioned his... Uh, his sponsor, SegPay and Movie, uh, the truck also painted by JDR Graphics. Speaking of paint, I uh, want to give a shout out to the paint shop, uh, John Hendrick. Uh, he's giving away some prizes and some money tonight. Uh, go ahead and like him on Facebook at the paint shop and also find him on the iRacing forums as well. Always good paint jobs there. A uh, ton of good painters in the iRacing community. It's not just one, two, three, four, five people, you know, people out there that are good, but we have one of the best here for the All Pro Racing Series, uh, the paint shop and John Hendricks, so be sure to check him out. Anyway, getting back ready to go green here, Garrett Smith is going to be rolling off in the second spot outside of Logan Clampett, Brandon Hastings, J.D. Laird in the number 70 truck, as well as the 68 of Damon Gilbert, the Indiana driver up there as well. And Hastings giving the push already to Logan Clampett, and the green flag is out. We're back underway at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Smithley on the outside, still fighting there with Logan Clampett. 
Hastings going to go up there as well. Two by two, ten rows deep here, going into turn at number three. Smithley trying all he can to hold that position, and the yellow flag is out again. And it looks like Matt Clifton involved in this one. Matt Clifton and Nick Reynolds possibly. We're going to roll up a replay here for you to uh, have you guys check it out. Yeah, it looks like they just came together there on the back straightaway. So caution number two on lap number 16. As you guys can see, a couple different angles of this replay uh, as uh, Michael rolls it down the back straightaway. And it looks like they both were, it looks like Clifton was coming up, Reynolds was coming down a little bit, just one of them racing deals uh, got too close together right there. And that's where the spotter definitely comes into play here as well. But everyone gets one reset, so we're going to go ahead and see Matt Clifton uh, get his damaged truck there, that all-pro WX Mopar-sponsored machine, uh, get all cleaned up and back underway. So... Caution number two, lap number 17, and I don't believe we're going to see any pit stops besides the guys that were uh, damaged in that wreck, and nope, definitely not, so. Uh, Matt Clifton is down on pit road, though, as well as well as Nick Reynolds, so a couple of the trucks damaged in that, uh, in that wreck are going to be on pit road, and you're going to see Matt Clifton pull into his pit stall, and it's going to magically... Whoosh, make his truck look brand new one free reset here for everybody and boom his truck is brand new and he'll be back down underway let's go ahead and uh, talk to some more drivers this is giving us a chance to uh, talk to some people here while uh, we are under uh, our second caution flag Let's talk to Brandon Hastings. Uh, we didn't get a chance to uh, talk to him much uh, the other day, last week when he was on here. Uh, he had a rough time of it and, uh, you know, wasn't really in the mood to give an interview. But let's bring him down. Let's have a little chat with uh, B. Hastings here. Here we go. Hey, Brandon Hastings. This is DJ Lineup in the All Pro Broadcast Network booth. How you doing, bud? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. How about that? Oh, I am absolutely lovely here, uh, getting some caution flags, being able to talk to everybody, talk to uh, Garrett Smithley, and now uh, your teammate, we're going to get a chance to talk to you. He said, you painted that truck up 10 minutes before the race, and it looks fantastic, so that, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, just something I was thinking on the way home from uh, work, you know, hour and a half drive, I get to think about a lot of things. Stocks are doing good, by the way. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, tell us about this race so far. How's everything going? What's your plan? And uh, you know, what what are you doing out there right now? Listen, the plan is with the least amount of horsepower that we got, uh, is to not really hurt the tires a whole lot, especially with the low fuel amount that we have. So we're not going to hurt the tires a whole lot. Pretty much going to follow in behind, let the front guys kind of battle it out. Hopefully, uh, in the end, we're going to have a we're going to have a one-two finish here or some, something like that, you know? Well, we're definitely going to have a one-two finish here. It's just a matter of who's going to be in front. Uh, the big question is, got a couple teammates in here. Would you put the bumper to one of your teammates to take the win? I definitely wouldn't wreck them on purpose, but I definitely would show them who's boss. You know, it'll catch my drift there, homie G-Dog. Well, so you wouldn't wreck, you'd wreck them accidentally on purpose. It's okay, Brandon. We, we got you. We got you. But yeah. uh, good. Yeah. And it wouldn't be the first time I've done that. So, you know, hey. Well, hey, at least we can have a good sense of humor about it and hope to see that number 81 truck in victory lane or possibly finish second behind your teammate there. So good luck the rest of the race, and I uh, hope to see you in victory lane. Thank you. Got some DCCM in the years, too. That was Brandon Hastings. Always fun to uh, talk to B. Hastings there. Uh, young driver out of Kannapolis, North Carolina, working on an actual NASCAR Cup team now. I uh, talked to him earlier, and he said his dream was either to be a, you know, a crew chief or, or start a band, you know, be a lead guitar player in a band. And I tell you what, if you want to shred some guitar, uh, Brandon Hastings is your man. Besides running well and being one of the top drivers on iRacing, he can also play a mean guitar. So uh, I think he's got a YouTube channel. I'll have to ask him later, but he's got some cool stuff out there, so be sure to check that out as well. Okay, pace lights are off, and, you know, I don't really care for caution flags, but, you know, they don't really bother me. If we can get a chance to talk to some of our cool drivers here in all pro racing in the dance, heating and cooling, top-notch truck series. I already know who I'm going to talk to next, and you know what? That's going to be Logan Clampett, so 
I want to ask him about that Diet Mountain Dew sponsorship because that looks sweet. Once you painted that up, and we, we're seeing now the the paint shop with Johnny Machek will be added adding some extra sponsorship to this week's Top Notch Truck Series All Pro. Any paint shop group member at the time of the race is eligible for the following prizes, and he hasn't listed them yet. Uh, he's actually out there talking to us in the chat on Twitch TV. So we'll pass that along when we get the information. Here we go, pace car is off, green flag is back out, we're racing again, lap number 20 out of 67 here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Clamp it, spun the tires, and that's, that allows Garrett Smithley in that safe bay truck to take the lead, and Brandon Hasing trying to get around on the outside, he's side by side with Logan Clampett. Basic, man, no room there, uh, but both drivers, very skilled drivers, able to hold it down into turn at number three, Hasing not giving up. And you heard him talk, he said they're basically wide open, they have to lift just a little bit. And so if they're basically wide open, then the inside groove is going to work because if the inside groove doesn't have to lift, well, there you go. So anyway, Brandon Hasing, he's going to fall back. Logan Clampett, he's going to get the run into second spot. Now pull up on the back of Garrett Smithley, sticking his left side tires down under the apron. And Logan Clampett looked like he was going to go to the inside but thought better of it, he's going to stick it behind Garrett Smithley for the time being. The 68 of Damon Gilbert is there as well. Now Smithley slides up just a little bit. Logan Clampett, he's going to go to the inside. Diet Mountain Dew for all as we head to turn number one. Clampett on the inside, Smithley on the outside. And it looks like he's going to be able to take that spot. And, oh, Smithley and Gilbert almost make contact off of turn number two as Smithley got loose. And now he's going to fall in behind Gilbert. Remember when we talked to him, he said he was just going to, he's going to ride around. No, he's not going to ride around. I take that back. He's going to do the crossover move, get back down to the inside. And there is a train forming behind Damon Gilbert. So he needs to get back in front of Smithley if he can. There is no room there. That is a trusting move. He had to trust that Smithley would lift right there to try to get to the inside, but Garrett not having any of it. He's going to go back down underneath Gilbert into turn three. This is a wreck waiting to happen right now. Gilbert not giving any room to Garrett Smithley. And he is going to fall back into the third spot. So you see uh, in the Twitch TV window, if you see Pad Racing at the top or Pad.org, that is people against distracted driving. Uh, we had a race here last night, the, the Pad 110. So that's why you see that up here tonight. But tonight is the Dan's Top Notch Heating and Cooling Truck Series from Atlanta Motor Speedway. Uh, but as always, we want to promote Pad. So check them out, PADD.org pad.org and uh, follow along with some of the stories on there and uh, possibly donate as well to help spread the word stay alive and keep driving don't text and drive don't talk and drive keep your eyes on the road so here we go damon gilbert back into that second spot he's going to pull up the back of logan clan that everyone's single file right now remember uh, no real wear on the tires but we're going to be keeping that fuel strategy in mind with only 30% fuel and I usually around this race when we do a race broadcast I like to pick out a cool looking uh, race car design and I've been looking through all of these and one that really sticks out to me not because it's over the top but just because it reminds me so much about NASCAR racing in, in the, the 90s and the early 2000s that that has to be uh, David uh, Bakkend in the number 11 that Tide sponsored number 11 uh, remnants of Ricky Rudd right there. Uh, that is absolutely a beautiful truck and cool to see on the track right now. So not real much to talk about. Everyone's still single file. Uh, the battle for the... Well, actually, here we go. Uh, Smithley is battling with J.D. Laird, Brandon Hastings, uh, Cruz Cadell, uh, the young driver out of Georgia. He ran legend cars, and, and I think he's going late models now, or go-karts, or or something, but uh, he's in that Krispy Kreme number 19, making me hungry up here in the booth. I need to get Michael. I mean, he pay Michael pays me well, but I, I think I, you know, I'll take a pay cut if we can get a, a dozen donuts, a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts up here with some milk, maybe some ice cream. You can tell that my diet is absolutely awesome. So anyway, Cruz Cadell, he's trying to fight with Brandon Hastings, but nothing really going there. Smithley backing off just a little bit from Damon Gilbert. 
uh, trying to save fuel and tires with J.D. Laird right behind him. Ooh, look for a battle back in the pack and I don't really see anything. Everyone's just single file. Everyone's riding right now. Having a good time. Pit stops. Going to be a premium here again. Going to be coming up in about 10 to 13 laps. So you can see the running order rolling across the top of your screen. Logan Plamit, Damon Gilbert, Garrett Smithley, J.D. Laird, Brandon Hastings, Cruz Condell, your top six. And I hear that pizza is on the way here. you got Blood Taker, 68169. Now, that is a cool username out there uh, with us in the Twitch TV, Pete Tropolis Chat. I could go for some pizza as well. See, this is what happens. When everyone's running single file and there's nothing really to talk about other than pit stops coming up, you know, I start talking about food. But, wow, well, hey, let's talk about this. Nick Reynolds in the 54. Uh, slow. Uh, looks like he was on pit road uh, this last time at lap number 28. He was down. Looks like he had some right side damage and uh, definitely had some problems with that number 54 as he hit the outside retaining wall. And it looks like, yep, the 23 truck also with some damage. Donald King, he hit the outside retaining wall as well. So a lot of drivers coming off of turn two not able to hit, uh, well, I mean, they are able to hit the wall. We saw it last night, too, in the people against distracted driving 110. Uh, hitting that outside wall, there's no wind really to speak of. It's just the fact that, uh, you know, everyone's just driving their truck. They want to win the money, and they want to be featured here on the All Pro Broadcasting Network. We're going to ride in cockpit, give you a fuel, uh, a, well, fuel rather, of how it is to ride around Atlanta Motor Speedway. Going to ride in cockpit with Donald King in the number 23 truck. He's going down the back stretch right now. See him top speed of about 185 miles per hour. As you got some slow track in front of him. Uh, a couple drivers coming onto Pit Road. So let's check out Pit Road and see what's busy going on down there. Uh, Brandon Hastings, hot, hot, hot onto Pit Road as he gets out into the grass. I don't know if that's going to be a commitment cone violation or not, but he was definitely able to save that truck and back down onto Pit Road. It's going to be a four tire change. Uh, no real uh, chassis changes to the car. I remember talking to Gary. He said he really can't change much here to make the car any different uh, than it already is. So uh, Logan Clampett's down with four tires. Uh, there goes uh, Damon Gilbert. He's down and away. Brandon Hastings still sitting there. Yep, it looks like he's going to be penalized. He's revving the motor, waiting to leave, and now he does. It's like a 15-second penalty for Brandon Hastings. So tough break for the number 81 truck as he is down and away. But if we have another caution, he'll definitely be able to get caught back up. So this is throwing our leaderboard for a loop right now, trying to see if anyone else is on pit road. Donald King back on pit road as well. Uh, Garrett Smithley in the number 43 is on pit road. It uh, looks like a possible two-tire change for Garrett Smithley there. So we're going to see where he comes out. That might pay off. They're going to have to hit pit road at least one or two more times possibly. So uh, we're going to see if that seg pay truck can get back up into the lead with a two-tire change. So things sh shaking up here at Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Top Notch Truck Series. We're going to get you all taken care of and get the leaderboard worked out once everyone uh, cycles through this section of green flag pit stops. As Garrett Smithley crosses our finish line, he's going to be shown in the fifth spot. J.D. Laird in fourth. Mitchell Rivas, who was running second. George Bark, who were running first. They are down on pit road, the number 42 truck. George Bark with some right side damage there. He is down on pit road for four tires and a little damage fix. And poof, his truck is brand new. Going to be four tires and fuel for him, and he'll be down and away. So George Bark off of Pitt Road, and I do believe that that is going to cycle. Let's see. Second place right now. Well, it's still Sean Mitchell Rivas in second place, but he just came off of Pitt Road. So one more lap around, and, and we'll see exactly where everyone is. Here comes Brandon Hastings. I 
do believe he is going to be one lap down. He is driving the tires off of that truck sideways off of turn number two, uh, running some really fast laps right there to try to get back up toward the front. Okay, pit stops have cycled through. Garrett Smithley is going to be in the second spot. He's going to be right behind J.D. Laird. I think J.D. took two tires as well. Uh, and they are pretty far ahead of Logan Clampett. Well, not really that far, about a second and a half or so. So those pit stops are uh, going to be a premium here if we can stay under the green flag and see exactly what happens. Looking for Damon Gilbert right now, who's running up front earlier. Damon currently being shown in the 14th position in that black number 68 truck. So he's got some work cut out for him to get back up toward the front of the field. So coming down to complete lap number 40, going to have 25 laps to go, or 26 laps to go rather. And this race is getting interesting because I don't think these guys can make it the rest of the way on fuel. So if we don't have a caution flag, they might have to stop and get a splash in tires. Uh, do you take tires? Do you not take tires? Hell, I say four tires every time. That's why I'm not really good at this game. But these guys are the professionals here. So J.D. Laird looks like he having some connection problems, but it seemed to have rectified itself. He's back out last lap, 31.122, compared to Garrett Smithley's 31.008. So Smithley, in that number 43, is closing. Oh, we got a car on the inside wall. Danny Rudy, a series sponsor, has slammed the inside wall. Uh, no caution. He is out of the way. But uh, tough break for him as he is going to roll his damaged truck very slowly uh, back to pit road. But uh, Danny Rudy, heavy damage here on the back straightaway. So tough break for him. So currently J.D. Laird in the lead, Garrett Smithley in second, 2.688 seconds behind him, Logan Clampin in third, 3.7 seconds back, then we've got Cruz Cadell in fourth, he is six seconds back, Teddy Wisniewski in fifth spot, he is 9.5 seconds back, and Matt Clifton right behind him in six, 9.6 seconds back. Then you got George Bark, David Backend, and Mitchell Rivas, and Jeff T. Martin, your top ten, Jeff is 16.2 seconds back. Oh, and Brandon Hastings has slammed the outside retaining wall, and he's driving it down the front stretch on the wall, and he is off now, but some heavy, heavy damage uh, for the number 81 of Brandon Hastings as he slowed down the back straightaway. Uh, tough break for him as he had that pit stop woe, and I do believe the All-Pro Racing Network, Jenks, has got to him again as we talked to him earlier as he was running up near the front, and he had a pit stop penalty and now has slammed the outside retaining wall. So hopefully it doesn't affect Garrett or anybody else that we talked to tonight, but uh, Brandon Hastings heading down pit road with some heavy, heavy right front damage. It's like Logan Clampett has caught Garrett Smithley about four tenths of a second back and they are closing in on J.D. Laird for the lead. Uh, two tenths of a second last lap and they are 1.7 seconds back of the lead right now. check it this time by Garrett did he gain anything yes he did three tenths of a second that time but Logan Clampett picked up about eight tenths of a second on the leader which puts him right on the back bumper of Garrett Smithley so the top three are slowly gaining and coming back together here for a run toward the finish Twenty laps to go and it's getting down to nitty gritty time. Here goes the battle for a second spot. Logan Clampett going to go to the inside of Garrett Smithley side by side. Uh, if Garrett's smart here, he will back off and get down in behind him, which he does. That way they can still gain on the leader, J.D. Laird, as you see Damon Gilbert in the 68 there. He is being shown two laps down in the 13th spot. 
Uh, so tough break for Damon Gilbert, but uh, Smithley and Clampett now single file and going to be going after J.D. Laird. And now Gilbert, he's going to fight down to the inside of Garrett Smithley. The lap truck, I do believe he's got a, some fresher tires on his truck right now, so he was able to get past Garrett Smithley. Now he's going to set his sights on Logan Clampett. Now Smithley bump drafting Damon down the back straightaway, telling him, hey, if you want to pass me, you got to go, man, because I need to go as well. And uh, Garrett was talking about how big the draft is here, so even if Smithley was faster than Damon Gilbert, uh, you know, that draft can suck him right back up. And uh, <laughs> we're just checking here. It looks like uh, Matt Clifton has been in the outside wall again. He slammed the front stretch wall, so tough break for him. But he's still running in the sixth spot, but he's definitely got some damage on that truck. And the leaders now battle for the lead. Logan Clampett going to go to the inside of J.D. Laird. It looks like Logan is slowing up to go in the pit, so it's J.D., and they almost make contact. And, oh, trouble. J.D. Laird spinning down on pit road, was not able to get inside the commitment cone. That is going to be a penalty on your current leader, J.D. Laird, as it looked like Logan Clampett possibly didn't signal that he was going down pit road, and it checked everyone up, and there was almost a big wreck right there on pit road. So Garrett Smithley electing to stay out one more lap, probably smart for him, because uh, that would have been crazy right there. down and away for Logan Clampett. Looks like a possible another two-tire change. And J.D. Laird going to go down, uh, obviously get four tires, spot, uh, flat spot of those tires. And we're going to see if Garrett Smithley comes down pit road this time. Yes, indeed he does. The leader now, Garrett Smithley, that seg pay number 43, going to be coming to the attention of his crew. At, oh, and he, he overshoots his pit stall by a little bit. It, it's going to cost him about a second. Uh, so we're going to see how far away he's going to be from leader Logan Clampett when he goes out. And Smithley, and there goes Logan by on the outside. Smithley electing to take four tires to Logan Clampett's two. Was that a good call? Well, we're going to find out. But Logan Clampett is going to have a huge lead now uh, with the changes. So I think Smithley can only really hope for a caution flag or possibly those new tires, those four tires, going to be able to... Uh, get him back up there, but he is down and away and back up to speed on the back straightaway And we're going to show you exactly where everyone stands here as soon as everything cycles through David Bakken on pit road as well as some other drivers uh, getting their tires changed four tires down and away And oh, I do believe that Logan Clampett back down pit road possibly Nope, I'm sorry. I was looking at something else. I had the replay gone, and I was looking at something else. So my bad, my bad. Logan Clamp is still out there uh, on the track. Uh, when he comes by next time by, we're going to get a lap speed reading on him. Thirty point seven one one. Thirty point seven one one. Mitchell Rivas still hasn't pitted. He is your leader. So thirty point seven one one compared to Garrett Smithley's. 30.681, so Garrett Smithley definitely faster with those four tires, but is he going to be able to catch Logan Clampett? I don't think he will be able to. We only have 13 laps left. And we're going to see. He is... He's about 17 seconds back now. Or no, I'm sorry. Because he comes across, comes across like eight seconds back, so... 8.3 seconds back. He's running faster than the leader. Can Garrett Smithley and those four tires catch up to Logan Clampett? We're going to find out. But time is running out for the number 43 to win on his home track here, live on the All Pro Broadcasting Network. This time by Logan Clampett running a 30.751 compared to Garrett Smithley's 30.851, so Smithley actually losing time there to Logan Clampett. As George Bark, he's moving into that third spot. He's about a second and a half behind Smithley. So clean and green here for the last part of this race, it seems. And it's all going to fall down to whether or not there's going to be a caution flag and if Logan Clampett makes a mistake 
but doesn't look like he is going to. As Garrett Smoothie now coming by the start finish line, he was 8.489 seconds behind last time, and this time he's 8.509, so losing a couple thousandths of a second. So it doesn't look like he's going to be able to catch Logan Clampett, but we're going to see how this race plays out. Never say never, and wait till the end. And did Damon Gilbert possibly get in the wall again? Yes, he did. Oh, he hit the wall hard. Damon Gilbert hard into the outside wall, right in front of your leader. So he's down on pit road getting that fixed up and taken care of. want to update you on J.D. Laird. He's currently running in the ninth spot. Last car on the lead lap after that pit stop penalty where he... Uh, Missed the commitment cone, and I do believe he just smacked the outside wall again. So, uh, tough, tough race for J.D. Laird. Uh, checking back up on your leader. Last lap for Garrett Smithley, 30.881 compared to a 30.848 for Logan Clampett. So, again, still losing a little bit of time. Yeah, he fell back a couple tenths of a second that lap. So coming down to the nitty-gritty, the only thing we can hope for uh, for Garrett Smithy and the rest of the field is a caution flag or for Logan Clampett to have a random mechanical failure. And I know uh, there's drivers out there throwing bottles on the track right now saying, oh, there's debris in turn four. Come on. <clears throat> if we could just have one of those mysterious debris cautions, we could get this race uh, back tied up and underway. Lap number 60 now is going to be going into the books with six laps remaining. Now Logan Clampett coming up on some lap traffic here. That's J.D. Laird. That's the number 11 of David Backen. Down to the inside. They're three wide. And oh, that was not a smart move for Logan Clampett as he trying to, he's trying to work his way through this lap traffic and almost got involved in the wreck right there. Uh, three wide around some lap cars. Uh, not exactly what needed to happen right there, but... He has passed both of them, and he is down and clear of these guys. But, uh, wow, that was almost a wreck right there. And getting word that Cruz Cadell has hit the wall off of turn two again. Uh, so tough break for him. A lot of drivers tonight have been into the outside wall. So going back up and uh, watching the race lead here is Logan Clampett working his way down the front straightaway again. Coming four laps to go, still working around some lap traffic, and uh, the time between him and Garrett Smithley, Smithley was actually faster that last lap, but with only four laps to go, uh, there's not really any time for him to gain on Logan Clampett. We need a, and even if a caution did come out right now, <clears throat> we would finish under caution. There are no green-white checkers in I racing, so. Uh, the only thing that they can hope for in the back is that Logan Clampett possibly has a problem or runs out of fuel, but I do not see that happening. He's been on rails all night long. Three laps remain here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Clampett now clear of these lap trucks. Smithley pulled in about three-tenths of a second that last lap, now 8.4 seconds back. Not enough time to be able to catch that Diet Mountain Dew truck of Logan Clampett. Logan almost lapped the whole field here tonight. He's uh, lapped up to the seventh spot and uh, closing in on Jeff T. Martin in sixth place. But two laps remain, two to go. Popsicle sticks in the air for Logan Clampett. And Smithley gained another two tenths of a second that last lap, but not going to be enough time. Coming down to the white flag and working around series sponsor Danny Rudy. They're out of turn number four. White flag is in the air. One more lap to go for Logan Clampett. Smithley closing in another three tenths, but not going to be enough as Ben Hastings has taken his truck behind the wall. Coming through three and four for the final time, 
using lessons learned from every pro and DWC driver that he's ever talked to, Logan Clampett in the number 44, taking it to Victory Lane in the Top Notch Truck Series here on the All Pro Broadcasting Network. The Diet Mountain Dew number 44 is your winner here tonight. So we're going to watch him go around. He's probably going to do some burnouts, and we're going to get a chance to talk to him. So congratulations to uh, Logan Clampett for winning here tonight. Garrett Smithley coming in second spot spot. George Park going to be in third. Teddy Wisniewski in fourth. Mitchell Rivas in fifth. Jeff T. Martin in sixth. David Backen in seventh. Ed Williams Jr. in eighth. J.D. Laird in ninth. And Matt Clifton going to come home in the tenth spot. Donald King in eleventh. Cruz Cadell in twelfth. Danny Rudy in thirteenth. Damon Gilbert in fourteenth. Brandon Hastings in fifteenth. Nick Reynolds in sixteenth. And Mason Kane uh, going to finish last here tonight in the 17th position. So Logan Clampett lined up, doing some burnouts here on the front straightaway, and we're going to talk to him here in just a few seconds. You see, he's being joined out there with uh, Garrett Smithley congratulating him. So we're going to get uh, Clampett, and uh, we'll bring Smithley back down here as well to talk to both of them. Logan Clampett, DJ Lineup in the broadcast booth. How you doing, buddy? Doing pretty good. Hey, man, congratulations on the win here tonight. Uh, absolutely dominating performance. Tell us how you did it. Um, I like the combination about the trucks and Atlanta, favorite car and favorite track, pretty much, and just decided to join this league, thought it was interesting. Um, on the first stop there under green, uh, I, d I thought JD took two, so I took four, and then the next stop I took two. Well, how did that play out for you? How different was the truck after you took two tires? Uh, was, it, was it hard to handle or was it okay? No, it felt the same. Well, good. You've won, you've won, definitely won a lot of races here on the iRacing uh, simulation. First race here in the All-Pro Racing Series, the Dan's Heating and Cooling Top-Notch Truck Series. Uh, you won tonight. You won some money and uh, couldn't ask for a better night. So congratulations on that. And uh, Logan Clampett, good job, bud. Thank you. Well, hey, we've wandered over here. We've hopped on our uh, All Pro Broadcasting Network scooter, our little segue here, and uh, rolled on over to the second place truck of Garrett Smithley. Garrett, we talked to you earlier in the race, and you told us what your strategy was. And uh, do you think that you possibly should have taken two tires at the end there to be closer to Logan? Yeah, um, I uh, crew chief told me to take four because he thought I could run him down, and I wanted to take no. T I think if I had taken no tires, I had a shot at it. Uh, Logan was faster all night. I mean, he just had a better truck. Um, just couldn't catch him, and I knew four tires. He was going to be fast on four. If he took four tires, and even on two tires, I knew he was going to be fast. But uh, towards the end of the race, I think we were, you know, the last like five laps, we were catching him. So it's cool to be the fastest truck on on track. Just didn't have enough time. Um, overall, pretty happy with second. Uh, f you know, f uh, highest finishing truck that's going for points. So that's definitely a good thing. Um, you know, just not the right strategy call. Oh yeah, we, you'll have that, and uh, we also we love having you guys here and, and seeing all the new faces and uh, seeing everyone here every week. And uh, we'll be back here next week, same time at a different track. And I think you got something next week for them, Garrett? Oh yeah, uh, a couple of these tracks that are coming up, I, I'm I'm very good at Auto Club's one of my favorite tracks on here. Um, Martin, I think Martinsville's next, maybe. Um, I'll definitely put my Legend Car experience on on Martinsville. So really excited about the schedule. Really excited for going for the for the championship and points. I should be pretty decent. I had a sixth place finish uh, last week, second place this week. So hopefully we can improve to a win. Um, just gotta thank Segpay um, for for being on board. Uh, we we've got some races lined up for them in, in real life and uh, trucks and Xfinity coming up so um, looking for that on GarrettSmithyRacing.com uh, and GarrettSmithyRacing on Facebook but uh, thank this, thanks to SegPay thanks to Enlighten um, thanks to Viho uh, the movie camera K2 um, we got some really cool stuff going on with them with No Proof No Glory so be looking for that stuff and um, as always thanks for, to Dan's Heating and Cooling 
um, for having this top notch uh, race uh, truck series here with the All Pro Racing Series. They put on a great show, and uh, hopefully the fans enjoyed that. Uh, we, we had a lot of fun out there. Oh yeah, definitely had a lot of fun here tonight. Uh, had a couple caution flags, but went clean and green till the end. Next week, we're going to be at Martinsville Speedway. Uh, going to be some beating and banging there. Can't wait to see everyone back for that here on the All Pro Broadcasting Network. Tonight's race, the Dan's Heating and Cooling Top Notch Truck Series, brought to you by Dan's Top Notch Heating and Cooling, danstopnotch.com. Also by John Hendrick in the Paint Shop. You want to check him out, John Hendrick in the Paint Shop, giving away some prizes tonight. So like them on Facebook and find them on iRacing Forums for information on some possible money prizes and some other uh, physical prizes as well. So don't forget to tune in next week, next Monday night, here on the All Pro Broadcasting Network for our Dan's Top Notch Heating and Cooling Truck Series at Martinsville Speedway. So for Michael D'Amico, I am DJ Lyon, reminding you to keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down, and always, always, always keep that hammer down. We'll see you right here next Monday on the All Pro Broadcasting Network.